And good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Cities with John episode. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we continue on this beach resort. And, you know, today is going to be an episode. Uh, today is going to be an episode, period. Today is going to be an episode where I'm going to work on um, this beach the actual beach itself, um, kind of detailing it out a little bit, as um, I kind of explained in my first video of this series. I've already got some hotels and some buildings uh, across the way, and um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to tear those down yet, or if I'm just going to leave them there. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I do know that um, you gotta have you gotta have people and you have to have you have to have it kind of set up for that um, and a beach doesn't really look like a beach without a lot of people hanging out on it so what I did is I got on the workshop and downloaded several beach assets I was able to get some really cool ones that I've never really messed with before and um, um, most of them they kind of work the same way they kind of work like a park and i could i kind of debated making it an actual park and zoning it to be a park but there's really no point in doing that since i'm not trying to play this game realistically if i was playing it realistically i would have um i would have definitely put some gates on this thing to try to have actual entrances and make money. But since I'm not doing it that way, I'm not really worried about it. Um, so here I'm taking a path, a uh, little concrete pathway that I built months ago to get people over this giant intersection and uh, sunken railway area safely. I built this because people were kind of coming all the way over from the mall area to the um, hotels and shops that were on this strip by the beach and they were all taking this one junction um, that interchange there in the background and uh, finally built this and I uh, I, th I think that turned out good and I've just kept it that way haven't really messed with it um, but here I'm just kind of adding um, a sidewalk to connect over toward my uh, railway station and then I figured that this area needs a good overlook and next thing I'm going to build is a boardwalk of sorts overlooking uh, overlooking the ocean here a pier um, kind of uh, overlooking and, and giving people a, a cool vantage point at seeing the ocean so check it out turns out pretty cool. So there is my pier area, and um, now I'm going to start throwing in some of these uh, asset uh, park buildings. So the pier turned out pretty cool, and I debated on, as a matter of fact, I recorded building a pier that kind of went along the beach itself, but I kind of want this area of the beach uh, to just be mostly for people hanging out on the beach. Um, I didn't really want it for um, the, the dock purposes. So that dock's just going to go straight out, give people a really cool view, and, uh, and I, think it, uh, I think it looks really good. So, so these assets um, are a little, um, what is the word for it? A tad bit on the frustrating side. Um, but at the same time, they're awesome. So let me explain. They don't, uh, mess with the terrain. So they don't make a big hill. Like when you plop a building down on the beach, it doesn't conform to the, the terrain does not conform to the building level. 
and so it just goes straight out so it keeps the beach looking the way it should look um, but um, at the same time when you go to put props on it it is a pain in the butt the props do not go all the way down you have to adjust them every single time so that was kind of a pain and also you might notice here I'm changing up that road to make that parking lot that's right along the road look a little bit more realistic with the road that had the uh, side grass it kind of looked like you would have to drive over a curb to get to the side grass and one thing about these assets that I don't like is the palm trees that are included they are vanilla palm trees and having the um, custom-made palm trees across the street uh, I'm going to have to change that up a little bit uh, using uh, prop it up and uh, I think I'm gonna do that uh, here in uh, just a second and get that looking the way it's supposed to look so yeah very simple um, very simple idea just throwing these side by side it kind of does the work for you in a lot of ways um, lots of people out there on the beach and here I'm just trying to extend that pathway um, over a little bit further and using um, this uh, surface painter just trying to kind of keep a little bit of a path going through the back side of the uh, beach area and um, the path that was built into the first three beach assets there to the left looks really good but my path kind of looks a little janky but uh, anyway but I gotta fix these trees or it's gonna bother me all right so trees are fixed everything looks the way it's supposed to a lot better looking palm trees uh, in my opinion I like those a lot more um, so yeah people are really using this sunken railway as you can see in the background there the trains are literally lined up people are coming in and out of this and it really made me think that I'm going to have to probably add another train station at some point pretty close by because people are using this train station to get to work um, they're using it to get around the city and it is connected to an inner city line so I went ahead and put a line um, I built a line for people to use inner city to go back and forth and that's great and all but the the problem is, is I'm going to have a lot of trains in that station and they're going to be, excuse me, doing what you just saw, which is they're going to be lined up. So here, just throwing in some uh, floating tubes and they are literally floating tubes or floating up in the air. And then here comes somebody. Now, what is this person? What are we doing here? What are you doing? Oh, this is an interesting place to perform yoga. Oh, gosh, Grandpa's back again. He was walking across the soccer field last week, and now he's on the beach. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> the the tubes, yeah, this was kind of a pain. Now, that one's good, that one's good, but these are just floating in the air. They're a pain. A lot of these, like I said, I don't know if it had to do with, this is a little different because it's on the water, but putting props down on this beach was a pain in the butt. Um, and you'll see here in a minute, everything you try to prop, plop, plop down, any prop that you try to plop, um, just doesn't cooperate. You have to kind of uh, finagle it using move it which is fine it's it's not all that big of a deal now see the beach ball I just threw down there worked okay but um, not so much on the other stuff now here you are uh, seeing me Throw down some beach towels, umbrellas, things of that nature. And these are 
just props that I'm adding in myself, just to add a little bit more to these assets. I don't want it to look like this beach is just basically um, a bunch of assets thrown down with very little effort. I, I kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit, make it a little different than just the plain basic asset that was made. <clears throat> And uh, here, I just add a little bit more uh, with one more asset there at the end. And then we are about to go beach towel crazy over here uh, using uh, the prop line tool. Good thing about prop line tools, you can do these angles. You can so you can see that beach towel is kind of moving around, and you can angle stuff differently however you want. You can increase the spacing, decrease the spacing. Whatever you want to do, um, you can do it with the prop line tool. And it does make your life easier, although sometimes setting up the prop line the way you want it is a rather time consuming. But um, overall, it does make your life easier. And uh, I, uh, I really like using it for, for stuff like when you're wanting, wanting to put down a lot of props uh, in a small area, I think it works. I think it works really well. So. So you're just throwing in a grill and then I realized that you, I use the grill that um, is kind of like a uh, the people generator grill so I end up trying to get rid of that here in a second and I also kind of demolish a lot of this path and redo it with the uh, gravel uh, I believe it's gravel and um, I think it kind of matches the other path a little bit better um, but never really got never really made the path look like the path that was on the assets but I'm not worried about it. now here we go these umbrellas and see how high this umbrella is off the ground now that one did okay but the first one yeah they're just floating in the air hmm I like coffee so here I'm just kind of adjusting these umbrellas and uh, getting them down to a more realistic level if you will but I think the reason that that's happening is because these assets have a I mean it's amazing how these these beach assets work and how they just go straight down like that because they really do make a I mean it does it does look pretty good um, and the fact that they don't mess with the terrain and I know there's a way that you can fix that thought there was anyway and I thought it used to not do it but now it seems like everything I'm propping plopping down in these on this map is uh, and here I am turning off some more vehicle behavior we got garbage trucks going down the boardwalk um, but uh, for some reason um, it just kind of was uh, giving me fits but that's okay uh, here I'm throwing in a little bit of a seafood a seafood restaurant I believe it is swordfish seafood grill and throwing in another building you can see there that I kind of put some uh, stilt houses over on the right and, and those are um, rental properties so you can rent those um, to hang out on the beach that's the idea anyway this is all building up to where this resorts actually gonna be which will be down closer to those uh, buildings that are already in place and I'll probably just end up kind of changing that area up a little bit. Um, here we have uh, a little small uh, snack shop that I just threw in by that path. And now we have a beach bar here. And um, I don't really like... And you see how that's kind of... It's stuck between these roads, so it's not cooperating. I think I'm going to end up moving this... Um, down a little bit closer to the actual actual ocean we'll put it down here um, so yeah um, I'm just trying to be a little I, you know I don't want to use I'm not trying to I don't want to use everything all at once right here I don't want to overcrowd it too much but I do want it to have a little character um, a little 
sleaze, maybe? I don't want it to be... This is more of an adult hangout area, uh, overall. This isn't really a kid's beach, um, per se. Um, so here, just kind of moving around some of the beach towels that got covered up due to uh, due to this bar going in the wave of it, the wave as it's called. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of like how this is set up because that bar is basically like a some uh, containers thrown together, and people can walk through it uh, underneath it and stuff, and you know access the bar from both sides, which I think is kind of a cool. Uh, cool thing uh, here. I just uh, use a little copy and pasting using move it and uh, Throwing in some additional uh, Hangout spots on the beach and see now that's starting to really look good. I really like that. So So uh, one thing that this beach needs is uh, It needs a place for some Well for one thing, I think it needs more restaurants. I'm throwing this floating cafe. I'll just kind of put it out here where the boardwalk kind of oversees the cafe itself. That's a really cool, uh, really cool asset built into the game. And here, I'm going to connect this boardwalk so people can come down and eat at this restaurant. Go in between a couple of those beach resort uh, or uh, rental properties there. And there you have it. So that's cool. That worked out pretty well. Now people can go down the beach side and get something to eat. Wow, look at that. Look at all the people. Wow, Best Buy. Hey, you can't park there. Oh, he disappeared. Um, okay. So, yeah. Kind of an over, overlook here of the, of the cove. Um, now I think that's um, probably a good time. I'm going to get rid of these particular ones. Um, you know, uh, I'll probably keep a couple of these, of these rental properties. I kind of want to make this, uh, a little bit more commercial and add a little bit more, um, a little bit more sleaziness. Now here we have a, a beach volleyball court. That nah, didn't work. Let's not do that one. Um. Beach party. You see how it just brings up the terrain? I just don't like that. I wish there was a way for it to not do that. And I thought there was, and for some reason, I just, I'm just brain dead. It was a long day. Um, all right, so now we have a little pub. Here's an additional little snack shop next to the pub. Oh, I've been wanting to use this one for a while. Casa de Playa. For some reason, this is under... You type in the word beach on find it. I've never really used it. it doesn't really look all that beachy, but it kind of looks sleazy. Ah, uh, this would make a great strip club, wouldn't it? Doesn't that look kind of like a strip club, like a not so nice looking, <laughs> not so nice looking place? Just kind of stick it off here. Ooh. Um. Minus all that. There we go. It's gonna have it sunken in a little bit. Hope they had flood insurance. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. What what a game. What a game. Girls, girls, girls. What's the name of this place? Girls, girls, girls is the name of it. Um, no. Obviously it's called uh, Naked People. That's what they call it. <laughs> I... Let's just stick this and uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, giant uh, 
electric light just put across the building. No, no cares given on how that's set up. Just you get the point. I thought I had. I'll try to put some little skylights on this or something. Um, thought it was a mall prop. Might not be. Oh, I do. I know where one is. Um, so I can use. It's not going to be, it's going to be, oh, here we go. There we go. Let's add a little character to this building. Could put, eh, I don't know if that would work. That would look a little, look a little odd. So we'll have a little walk out here where people can kind of come up and chill on the roof. Overlooking the pier, maybe get a, a personal dance. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so, strip club, yeah. It's a new low for this beach. People are gonna love it. They're gonna love it. So, using these uh, people generator tables and chairs. It's a pain because if you put them in the middle of a asset building, which I did here, made a grave mistake, you literally have to move the entire larger asset to get to the smaller assets. It will not work. You cannot click on that. It drives you absolutely crazy. But that's okay. Look at everybody. Mass exodus of the beach. All right, so let's get that. Where's another one over here? I swear, I'm not going to be using these. No road connection. <sighs> All right, got that fixed, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so here I'm going to add some... Additional finishing touches to this beachfront again having to kind of adjust everything due to This weird terrain glitchy problem with this beach, but that's okay um, Throwing in one of these light poles that has the advertisement banners and then Down here I had an idea where I have a blank spot um, kind of throwing in a little bit of a playground closer to the road where you know Mom and dad get out of their car, start getting their beach stuff together, and then the kids can maybe play on this playground for a bit, and uh, or they can just play in the playground while mom and dad are chilling on the beach, whatever. Just don't take the kids close to the strip club. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, the yeah, that'll work. Just have a little bit different tile underneath there, like. That. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how um, this area has turned out as far as I just can't believe how many people are coming over here uh, very quickly. So, and it helps that these buildings are parks. So, parks in the games, just naturally people go to them. It also makes the citizens happier. It'll drive up your um, need for population increase. So, in other words, it just continues to drive that green meter at the bottom that tells you that you need more to build more residential areas, and that's what you want. You constantly want those to be filled up, all three of them really, but you definitely want the at least one of them to be filled up at all times. And when you're playing the regular game, it's kind of like a balancing act. Like if you build a lot of houses, next thing you know, you're going to need a lot more industry. Well, then you'll build a lot of industry, and you're going to need more commercial. You just constantly go back and forth with that. It's a little different when you're doing the designer way that I've been doing, but um, still the same general um, concept and everything. And uh, so anyway, doing this has really increased uh, the foot, tra foot traffic to this area for sure. So, um, you know, I'm going to have to kind of reevaluate the area, the suburban area. 
that's over there where I have some condominiums next to the mall and all that. I'm really going to have to kind of check out uh, that whole setup and see if there's a way for me to um, maybe add a little bit more uh, property and stuff like that. Here's some ice buckets. Everybody needs a, a cooler on the beach, and that's what that is. Of course, it floats in the air before I have to adjust it. You just find that perfect spot where I don't have to adjust it. Oh, all the ice buckets are on the same exact line. That's kind of odd. I'm not that lazy. Come on, people. There it is. Oh, I got people walking out to the ocean again. Oh, that's cool. At least they're not stagnant. Then I'm put in like a little bit of a dog uh, park area. Here's a little throw away your dog crap um, trash can thing. Um, and we have these like little dog ramps for dogs to do tricks on and bark and um, run around. So, put these over here like so. It's not exactly the Westminster Dog Show, but it's pretty close. Um, yeah. Jeez, look at all those people in the background. The beach has always been here, people. Just because you have public access to it. Uh, so, let's add a few more details. Let's uh, Here's some little porta potty type things. Uh, outhouses. And I kind of want to add a little bit more to. I kind of want to add a little bit more to that strip club. I've got the little food van sitting on this dock over here, and uh, put a boat out here. More to come on the boats because I do have some uh, boat packs. Uh, I do have some boat packs in my uh, repertoire that I have to. Kind of dig out here, but it's kind of throw on some extra little features here. A little Budweiser sign we'll put on here. And just up the sleaziness all the way. See, uh, oh, let's just name this place. Let's just name the place Nude. Does that sound like a hip strip club name? Nude. Just nude. Just call it what it is. I don't get a chance to use these letters very often anyway, so. Welcome to nude. <laughs> oh, I like it though. I mean, it's like very tacky. That's exactly what I was kind of wanting to do. It's just something really tacky looking. Oh, that's going to look cool. Let me turn on the, uh, turn on the darkness. Sweet. Oh man, that looks cool. I don't normally turn on the nighttime stuff, but it does make the game look so cool. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, this whole area. Ha! <laughs> Beach is kind of dark, but this whole area looks really cool at night. All right, back to reality here. So, I mean, uh, I think, good lord, look at this. They are coming in and out like crazy. I love it. I'm glad they're using it. I'm glad they're using it. That's what matters. Bringing people over to this area. I'm really going to have to look at putting in more sidewalks and more... Um, there's going to have to be... There's going to have to be a way for people to get to walk to where they want to walk um, without having to cross these big intersections. For now, though, I'm going to use these decals and kind of make an extra wide crosswalk at least it appear like an extra wide crosswalk. As you know, if you've watched my videos, the traffic does not care about people walking across the road, nor do the citizens care about traffic coming. They just walk, they do not care. Um, so we'll just kind of throw in this little crosswalk decals. Uh, I got one here and needs to get adjusted. Um, And this will kind of make this look more, a little bit more safe, a little bit more people friendly. But yeah, I might have to circle back around to some of this because 
I just feel like I'm going to need a elevated, I'm probably going to end up having to have an elevated sidewalk. Um, and because otherwise <clears throat> there's going to be so many people walking down because a lot of these people are getting off, not only go to the beach, but they're trying to get to the mall. So I might have to figure something out because otherwise people are just going to be all over the place. They're going to be running into each other, running into cars, etc., etc. We'll see. More on that later. And I'm just going to keep that little crosswalk in there. I know it looks a little funny, but kind of connecting the lines. And technically that crosswalk is, is for the sidewalk that's going to take you away from this area anyway. That's what we're going to go with. So, yeah, I think that looks okay. Kind of makes a like a cro big big wide crossing. Throw in some decals. A slow decal is always good to use in areas like this where you don't want people driving like complete maniacs. Oh, that's my favorite. The flashing crosswalk signs. I'm going to name the city Crosswalkian. Let me know in the comments what the city should be called. I need a name for the city. That Las Palma at the bottom is the default name. And it's not what I chose, okay? It's not my, that's not my city's real name. All right, cool. So people are walking across that crosswalk. Great. Looks good. Like it. Oh, Grandpa got ran over. Um, see if we can kind of get this corner. This corner looks a little funny. Kind of there we go. That's what we need. Boom, like it, perfect. Let's move these into the grass, and I might end up changing that road style. But all right, cool. Love that staircase. Love the boardwalk. Love the strip club. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, Blue Moon. It's the beer of choice at the Swordfish Seafood Grill. Very cool. All right. Well, I think it looks good. Um, this is a good start. We have a long way to go. Got a lot of more, you know, this is just the beach. So the idea is this is where the people are going to relax on the beach when they're outside of the hotel and outside there are other entertainment options in this area and uh, you know I'm still kind of thinking about where I want to put the rest of this but I've, I've got some really cool hotels that I have not put down yet so it's going to look awesome when these hotels get put in and they are some down there those ones you see in the background I'm probably going to keep some of those because um, they look good they look appropriate for the area so I'll probably keep some of them but uh, Otherwise, um, that's really it for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really excited about this series, as Grandpa and Son patiently wait for some girl's top to fall off on the beach. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you soon with another beach video, Cities with John.